Okay, Dr. Mindy here, and I wanted to follow up on my 100 days of my favorite reset tips. And I really wanted to follow up on serotonin. So on Saturday, I talked about serotonin and how when we get out in the light into the sun, it stimulates receptor sites in our eyes that make our brain produce more serotonin. I talked about yesterday, I showed you all the foods that I eat in my household that uh, helps my good bacteria in my gut and will produce more serotonin. And then today I want to talk about what happens when you sit and the damage that happens from sitting and the damage that will occur at the top part of your spine. So if, you go, if you've been following my series on Saturday, I talked about how there are three areas that per, uh, control serotonin production. One is up here at the brainstem, one is in your gut, and one is in your eyes. So I was talking to a patient this morning and she was saying to me, well, gosh, I was, she goes, I watched your Facebook Live on Saturday, I watched it yesterday, and it made me realize that if I'm sitting at my computer all day, that I'm actually, and I'm eating crappy food, I'm actually damaging all the three areas that produce serotonin. And if you're not familiar with serotonin, it's your mood enhancing neurotransmitter. You want a lot of serotonin. So um, as she went on to say, and Kat, if you're listening, because I love that you had that aha, she went on to say, well, that's everybody. Everybody's sitting at the desk, they're inside not getting a lot of light, and they're eating crappy food, and they're depressed. And then once they're depressed, what do they end up doing? They put them on antidepressant uh, medication. But you can actually switch that around and you can actually, even if you have a job that's inside all day, you can actually start to get your serotonin levels up by getting out into the bright light at lunch. Make sure you're eating a lot of those foods I showed you yesterday. And then you wanna watch this bone right up here. This is your atlas. And when you're sitting, especially when you're sitting with your head forward like this, you're misaligning the atlas. So in my office, we, we take measurements of every bone. Your atlas should be tilted down at 18 degrees. So if you're seeing a chiropractor, ask them, what is this atlas lined up? Is it at 18 degrees? If it's off 18 degrees, then it's compressing the brainstem where you have serotonin neurons. And these neurons branch out and control your heart rate. They control your sleep. They control uh, your sexual appetite. They control um, your uh, pain receptors, so they'll affect pain. This is a really important uh, part of your overall brainstem. So a couple tips that I have for you guys that are chronic sitters. One is stand up once an hour. Set, set an alarm on your phone and just stand up and just make sure that you're looking ahead. You can do some stretching, like this kind of thing. I, I teach my patients to get in a door frame and just open up the chest. Make sure that you, you can even do some exercises where you bring your head down and your head up. Those kind of things will stretch the ligaments. Um, so make sure you, that you're getting movement in that neck, that it's not, you're not sitting like this all day. So that's one tip. Um, the second tip is if you're seeing a chiropractor, make sure they're adjusting your atlas. Um, and, and that is the most important bone in the body for serotonin. Um, and then the third is that if you have gotten out in the sun, if you've done the food and you're still finding that you're depressed, your moods are still low, it's really time to get a corrective chiropractic evaluation. With corrective chiropractors, what we do is we measure. That's what we do. We measure, we figure out where the imbalances are, and then we come up with a plan to correct it. So if you've tried all those things, please reach out to a corrective chiropractor. I, if you're somewhere out of our area, put your address or your town, and we'll get you one in your area. I can't tell you guys that get adjusted, how great do you feel when you leave an adjustment? And a lot of that is because we improve that serotonin production. Okay, so three areas, your eyes, your gut, and your brain stem. Make sure you're getting up once an hour. Make sure you're doing neck exercises and get yourself an x-ray and a chiropractic adjustment. And those, that's the magic. That's the magic to keeping those moods high. Okay, hope that helps. Have an awesome night.